In this very video, I will be showing how you can add other brand of cameras to the Geovision video management software or what we also call the VMS. Before we go through the whole process of how to do the whole setup, I would like us to look at where you can get the Geovision VMS or where you can download it from. So when you launch your browser, you can search for, let me type it in here. You can search for jovisionsecurity.com. So when you load the jovisionsecurity.com website, you would come to support and under the download, when you load the download, you can scroll down to the VMS and it's right here, VMS 6100. There are two of them here. We have the 32-bit type and the 64-bit type, depending on the type of operating system that you are using on your computer. So you have to download it according to your operating system. Once you download the software installed on your computer, you would have this type of icon that I have here on your computer's desktop, or you have this as part of your software's installed on your computer. So from then, you have to launch the software. And after launching the software, this is what you see as your home page of the software. So from here, we'll have to select or click device management if you are ready to add your cameras to the VMS software. So when you enter into device management, this is what you would see. Let's start from the middle portion down that is looking on your screen. The middle portion down, this is the portion where if you have cameras connected to the same local area network as your computer would be displayed. For example, I have three cameras here and those three cameras are connected to this particular network switch. This network cable or connections that I have here are the connections into the network switch and as well i have the interface or the uplink port of the network switch connected to my computer which means that the cameras and the computer are on the same local area network and so when i carry out a search of my cameras by clicking on the search devices button here I will have the, the three cameras I connected to the network listed at this portion or in this column here. So that is the essence of this column. It is for devices that are connected to the same local air network with the PC on which the VMS is installed. And so we can carry out the search here. But before we do the search, I want to draw your attention to something very important here. If we are talking about adding other brand of cameras to the VMS, it is important to come to the filter manage devices, whereby you can click at the drop down menu and you have access to IPC, that is IP cameras, NVR, XVR, or OnViv. OnViv simply embodies all the kind of cameras that are not Joe Vision. So when I carry out a search right now, what will happen is that because the three cameras are connected to the same local air network as my computer on which the VMS is installed, I will have the cam cameras listed at this bottom session, but not the top session. And so, so once you do that and you click on search or search devices, every device that is connected to the same local area network as the computer will be listed for you. So for example, as I've done the search, here are three cameras or the three cameras that I've connected to the network switch. And that same network switch is what is connected to the computer. So I have the cameras listed here. But these cameras I have here are Geovision cameras. That's why I've selected back all the, all the protocols. So you see that the three cameras listed here are not really added to the VMS unless I go to add to management. 
So what I can do is to simply click on all and tap on add, add. So once I click on add, you will find the cameras at the far top here, as you can rightly see. And their status is indicating that they are online, which means those three cameras can be viewed. That is the video of those three cameras can be viewed. But apart from having to view the cameras, I want to also talk about the fact of how you can add other brand of cameras again if they are not connected to the same local area network as the computer. So, for example, if you want to add cameras from maybe any other brand, you would have to come to the top here, add device. When you choose add device, you would be seeing this pop-up window where you can look at the add device mode. And we have add device by Cloud CID. But the Cloud CID is something that is related to Geovision. So when you choose the drop-down menu, you can choose add by IP or DDNS. When you select that, it gives you the opportunity to be able to add other brand of cameras. Device name is the name you would have given your camera, depending on where you install it. But when we come down here, the brand and the brand, this is where you can choose the brand of camera you are adding to the VMS. So for example, when you click on the drop down, there are a list of other brand of cameras that we have here. If your brand is not part of this, you can choose others. And that gives you the opportunity to be able to um, choose the brand on which or the brand of which your camera is on. So once you select that, it means that the, the protocol for which that camera works on would as well be selected for you. And from there, you can put in the IP address of the camera you are adding. The username of the camera, of course, must be there. And then the password to the camera or the MVR must also be put in. Once you do that and you scroll down, you can just add the camera and it will also be part of your cameras. Easy, very easy, just like the Jovishin brand of cameras. So it is not only Jovishin cameras that can be added to the Jovishin VMS. You can as well add other brands that you want to use on the Jovishin vms once you are done and you click add in your case if you had all the parameters entered you would have been able to go to the the main menu and under live or the video preview you should have your camera listed if it's an ip camera or it's an nvr or xvr they should be listed there for you here are the cameras i have i've added to the vms so when i double click at the cameras it will get the cameras listed for me and you have the live preview of whatever brand of camera you are trying to add to the vms thank you so much for your time on this video please do share your comments and questions about this video and we'll have them discussed so that we can have the best of solutions to any challenge that you have when it comes to the use of the vms